Hello everyone. Welcome to this YouTube channel Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles. I'm Kishor and today we are going to solve an interesting Sudoku variant called Chess Pair Sudoku. This Sudoku was created by Tom Groot Cormelink, a Dutch author, and it was posted in the Facebook group called Daily League. The Daily League, as I mentioned in a previous video, is a Facebook group wherein authors from across the world post some wonderful Sudokus. Having said that, we'll move on to the rules of the Sudoku. In addition to standard classic rules, where we have 1 to 9 in each row, column and box, each cell in the grid forms a chess pair, that is, a cell can be considered to form a chess pair when it is at a knight's or a queen's move from itself. So to illustrate that, I will use an example. Now those of you who are familiar with how a chess game is played will understand easily what is a knight's or a queen's move. For those of you not familiar with chess rules, I will explain using an example. So let's say we have a 7 here. Now for this cell, the knight's move from this cell will be row 5 column 5, row 6 column 6, row 8 column 6, row 9 column 5 and these 4 cells. So as you can see a knight in a chess game moves 2 cells in one of the orthogonal directions and one step in the perpendicular direction that is it takes an L move, kind of an L move, right? So for this cell, these are all the knights, knights moves and similarly if you take a queen's move, a queen can move in any of the directions. So 7 cannot obviously be in the orthogonal direction due to a, a normal Sudoku rule. But a queen's move in the diagonal direction will be these cells. So this cell, row 7, column 4 can be considered to form a chess pair when it has a 7 in any of these cells, right? The rules appear slightly complicated but they are easy to follow once we understand. So each cell in the grid forms a chess pair. That is each cell in the grid will either be at a knight's move from itself or at a queen's move from itself. So with that we will start solving this Sudoku. So let us look for some digits which are easy to place using normal classic rules. So we have a 3 in row 8 column 6 and a 3 in row 6 column 7. So 3 in box 9 will be in one of these two cells and that immediately gives a 3 here and 3 in column 1 and column 3 there is also 3 in row 6 so which means 3 in box 4 will be in one of these two cells and 4 in column 4 and column 6 and the 4 in row 9 will allow us a pencil mark of 4 in one of these two cells. And there is a 1 in column 1 and column 2 and row 1 as well. So we can get the 1 in one of these two cells. 2 in row 1 and row 2 gives 2 in one of these two cells. And that's about it I think. So let's now try to use the variant property. I think it would be easier if we focus on the corner cells. That is row 1, column 1, row 1, column 9, row 9, column 1 and row 9 column 9 for example at the start because these cells cannot have the knight's property coming into play. So for example if you take the 3, it cannot be at a knight's move itself from itself right because it's in the same box so these two cells cannot have a 3 so it has to be satisfied using the queen property which means 3 has to be in the diagonal so 3 can be here I'm sorry so 3 can either be here it can't be here, it cannot be here and it cannot be here. So to satisfy this 3, that is for this 3 to form a chess pair with itself, we need a 3 in this cell and that immediately gives a 3 here, we can eliminate the 3 from here and using these 3's we can place the 3 in box 2 and the 3 in one of these 2 cells in box 3. So we will uh, just Notate the cells which already form a chess pair. This two threes are knights move from each other so they can be shaded red. And these two threes are 
queens move from each other so they also can be shared the red cells basically denote that those cells are already satisfied or they have already formed a chess pair now if you look at this three it cannot have a three in a knight's position right it cannot have three in the knight's position so it has to have a three in the queen's position which means there is only one cell diagonally we cannot have along this direction so uh, this direction we would have to see and we can satisfy this three only by placing a three in this cell so we can place the three here and that immediately gives a three here so i think now every three is satisfied these two threes are connected and they are satisfied and these two threes are connected by using a queen's move so all the threes in the grid are satisfied now let's focus on the corner four it cannot be at a knight's move from itself because it's in the same box so a queen's move have to satisfy so four has to be in one of these cells along the diagonal and there is only one cell left for the four to come so that will be here because it cannot be here it cannot be here and it cannot be in these two cells so four has to be here to satisfy the chess property and we can share these two cells and these two are at knight's move so they can also be shaded and using normal standard rules we get a four here because of these fours and we can pencil mark four in box six in one of these two cells because of these fours Four. This four is at a knight's move from one of these four, so this is also satisfied. We can share that red. And this box box six four will also be satisfied because it will be at a knight's move from from a row five column six. So I don't think we can do any more with the fours. Let's focus on the twos now. This corner two. it cannot be satisfied by using the knight property it needs to have a uh, two along the diagonal that which means that it has to be satisfied by using the queen's property only so for this two along the diagonal if you see only these two cells are possible right these cells cannot have a two so kindly bear with me that our pencil marks will be all over the place now for example these two twos here notate that in or indicate that it will form a chess pair with this two which means that we cannot have a two here but that is already satisfied by this two we cannot have a two here right row 7 column 7 because if we have a two here then two will be eliminated from both of these cells okay let's focus on this corner two now it cannot be satisfied by using knight property it has to be satisfied by using the queen rule so if you look along the diagonal there is only one cell left for this two to be satisfied it cannot be here so two has to be here and which immediately gives us that this cell has to be a two and using classic rule two will be in one of these two cells in box 8 again one of these two cells in box 4 because of these twos and similarly one of these two cells in uh, box 6 because of these twos and quickly if you see there is also 5 in column 7 and 9 so which means 5 will be in one of these three cells now we have a triplet 2 4 5 <laughs> in that column so we'll finish off that column 3 6 8 and 2 4 5 have been placed so the remaining cells are 1 7 9 so 6 will be in one of these two cells right because of this 6 6 will go in one of these two cells now let's shade some more cells to get some clarity this 2 is satisfied by this 2 they are connected using queen's move and similarly this 2 and this 2 are connected by using queen's move this 2 will be satisfied because if you have a 2 here it will be at a knight's move from this 2 and if you have a 2 here it will be at a queen's move from this 2 so this 2 is satisfied
the 4 if you look at the 4 it can be satisfied by using only the queen's move because there is no 4 at a knight's position so we need a 4 yeah there is only one cell left to satisfy this 4 right which is here because we cannot satisfy this 4 using a knight's move so it needs to have a 4 in, these di in this diagonal to satisfy the chess property and there is only one cell left in the diagonal so which means this will be a 4 and that gives a 4 here so 4 in box 4 now will be in one of these two cells because of this force so we will shade, shade some more force this 4 and this 4 is satisfied and this 4 yeah so the 4 at row 8 column 5 cannot be satisfied by using a knight move right so it has to be satisfied by using a queen's move queen's move cannot be in this diagonal because there is no 4 along this diagonal we can't have a 4 along this diagonal so it has to have a 4 along this diagonal right so there is only one cell left which means this will be a 4 we can eliminate the 4 from here that gives a 4 here and this will be a 2 or a 5 so we can shade some more cells now and this cell and this cell are at knight's move so they can be shaded as well so all the force have been shaded so we don't need to worry about the force now and box 7 we have placed almost every digit we have a 9 here so this will be 7 8 because 2 4 6 1 3 5 are in that box the remaining digits will be 7 8 and 9 and now if you look along row 8 there is only one cell left for the one because of this one here and the one here we can straight away mark this cell as the one and because of this one the one in box 3 will go in one of these two cells that gives a 1 6 pair in that cell so these two cells can be eliminated of their one so this will be 7 9 Now let us continue with our logic of focusing on the corner cells. If you look at this 5, you cannot have a satisfied using a knight's position. So it needs to have a 5 at a queen's position. So it needs to have the 5 in the diagonal. 5 cannot be in these 3 cells. So 5 has to be in one of these 2 cells. Okay. So we can share that cell now. It is already satisfied by using one of these 2 5s. Let us focus on this 5 now this 5 can be cannot can be satisfied by using a 5 here or it can have a 5 in the diagonal either here which is not possible and here ah this is beautiful guys so look at this row 8 column 9 so uh, if it is satisfied by using a queen's move we need to have a 5 in this cell or this cell but this cell is not possible because for this 5 we have a 5 in one of these two cells so obviously row 4 column 5 is not a 5 and similarly we cannot have a 5 here because there is a 5 here so which means for this 5 we need to have a 5 at a knight's position wow that is beautiful very beautiful so we can shade those two cells and because of that 5 we get a 5 here that is a nice piece of logic we can eliminate the 5 from here so we get a 5 in one of these two cells using classic rules and this is also satisfied because it's at a knight's move from this 5. Now slowly we are making chess pairs of all possible 5's and 5 in box 2 will be in one of these two cells because 5 cannot be in column 6 and cannot be in row 2. So this cell is going to be a 7 or 8 because whatever comes in row 7 column 2 will be in this cell and the remaining digits in box 9 are 7, 8 and 9 we can pencil mark them so let's focus again on a corner digit so if we have a 6 here it cannot be satisfied by using knight's move so we can have a 6 here, here, here ok so many positions for this 6 so let's leave the 6 for now This 6 is 
also having many possibilities it can be satisfied by using a knight's move of a 6 here or you can have the 6 here and 6 here as well so let's focus on some other digit ok when you look at row 5 column 1 this is very powerful because uh, it cannot be satisfied by using knight's position it needs to have a queen in one of these diagonal so this diagonal cannot have a 1 right because 1 is not here and 1 is not here so it needs to have a 1 in this diagonal 1 cannot be here so there is only one cell left for the 1 to be satisfied which is going to be here and because of this one we get a 6 here and a 1 here let's mark some more cells red these are all satisfied and this one is also satisfied because of the row 3 column 3 how about this one yeah this is also satisfied because of this one they are at a queen's move from each other and using classic rules we get the one here in box 6 and one in one of these two cells and one in one of these two cells and 6 in uh, row 8 column 2 and row 3 column 7 are satisfied again So using classic rules we will get 6 in one of these two cells. Okay, Again if you look at this corner 6, it can be satisfied by using a 6 in here or here. Okay, There is nothing there. I actually have thought that uh, there is only one possible cell for the 6 but it is actually having two positions that can satisfy the 6. So let us look for some other digit. Now we have a 789 triplet in row 7. 234 is already present. The remaining digits are 5, 1, 5, and 6. So this will be 5, 6 because of this one. This will be a 1 or a 6 and this will be 1, 5, and 6. And because of 7, 8 here, we will get a 7, 8 in this cell. And because of this 2 here, we can mark the 2 here using classic rules. Right, let us focus on the 2's now. Since we just got 2 more 2's, we have satisfied almost every 2 in the grid. So look at this 2. It cannot be satisfied by using a knight's move, right? No 2 can be present in a knight's move, so it has to be satisfied using the queen's move. But along this diagonal there is no 2, so which means that this has to be a 2 to satisfy this 2. That is beautiful. So we need to have a 2 here to satisfy this 2 and that gives a 2 here using classic rule. And that allows us to shade some more cells. These 2's will be shaded, they are at queen's move. So all the 2's have been satisfied now. So slowly we are populating the grid. So we have a 7, 8, 9 here, so this will be a 7, 8 or a 9. We can eliminate the 2 from here. So this will be a 5. So regardless of whether the 5 is in here or here, it will be satisfied by this 5. So we cannot do much with this 5. And even this 5 is not of much help. So we need to focus on some other digit which will help us in placing more digits. Let us make some more pencil marks. Uh, along column 1 we have 1 to 6. So this cell will be 7, 8, 9 and this will be a 7 or a 8. And rem uh, remaining digits along row 9 or 7, 8 and 9. So this will be 7, 8, 9 and this will be a 7, 8 and 9. So along column 2 remaining digits are 5, 7, 8. So this will be 5, 7, 8 and this will be 5, 7 and 8. And 9 must be in one of these two positions. A 5 is in one of these two positions. Ok. 
a are there any more corner digits that can be used not much so let's focus on making a little more pencil marks maybe it will help us in the solve along row 1 One, three, nine, two, four, eight have been placed. Remaining digits are five, six, and seven. Five is here, so this will be six, seven. This will be a five, six, and seven, and this will be five, six, and seven. So there is a nine pencil mark here, which is not giving us much. And row four, the remaining digits are seven, eight, and nine, right? So these three cells will be seven, eight, and nine, because one to six have been placed. Ah, let's look at this nine, the corner nine. We should have continued with our strategy of focusing on the corner digits. This, since this eight didn't give us much. I just didn't look at this digit much, but it's actually giving some more logic. Row one, column two. If you focus, it cannot be satisfied by using the knight's move, so it needs to have a nine along the diagonal, right? So there is only one cell left, which is going to be here. So this will be a nine, and that eliminates the nine from these two cells. And because of the nine here, we get a nine using classic rule in box two, and a nine here, right? so we can highlight some more cells these are all satisfied this 9 is not at satisfied so it has to be satisfied by using the queen property which means a 9 has to be in one of these two cells which eliminates the 9 from here and wow this is good so look at this 9 here so it cannot have a 9 along this diagonal and it cannot be satisfied by using a knight's position So a nine to satisfy this nine, we need to have a nine in one of these two cells, which means we can eliminate the nine from here, and that gives the nine here. That is amazing. Each of the directions in this Sudoku are really enjoyable, so it is a really fun Sudoku to solve. So these two nines are satisfied now, and that gives a classic. Using a classic rule, we can place a nine in row six, column one. And nine will be in one of these two cells now, and one of these two cells. So rest of the nines have been satisfied. So I don't think we can do any more with the nines. So we'll make some more pencil marks. So this will be a five, seven, or eight. and you have you have a 9 here right so using a classic rule you can get the 9 and the 7 in these two cells straight away so this is also shaded now because this is also satisfied by using a knight property this 7 can be satisfied by 7 here and here and here as well okay lots of possibilities there so along row 2 the remaining digits are 6 and 8 right let's pencil mark them This eight, okay, it's already satisfied. The row one, column eight. If you see, because of the presence of eight in one of these two cells, it's already satisfied by using the queen's position, queen's move. So we can highlight that also. F five should be in one of these two cells. and the 5 in this box is already satisfied by this 5 there is a 5 in one of these two cells which is also getting satisfied so nothing much there all the ones have been satisfied because this one is also satisfied so Okay since we have a 5 in one of these two cells we could have eliminated the 5 pencil mark from here this will be a 1 or a 6 and that gives a 5 here 
right and this is useful guys because now this six if you remember it could have had a six here now we have eliminated that position from there so for this six we need a six here to satisfy it and that gives an eight here this is really good so now we have a five seven here have an eight in one of these two cells so this will be a five seven and along column four the remaining digits are six seven and eight we can pencil mark them so six in will be in one of these two cells okay so because we narrow down five in one of these two cells we can use a powerful deduction what happens if you have a five here so five cannot be uh, okay five can actually be satisfied by using the night more right so we cannot use the deduction the five have been satisfied indirectly so we cannot do much with the five also the six have been satisfied now so there is a 6 in one of these two cells which is not going to help us much okay so let's focus on this 5 there is only one cell left for the this 5 to get satisfied and that is going to be here right because okay 5 can be here as well oh no this is a really difficult sudoku this 5 we can shade because it's satisfied right so 5 is getting satisfied so we can shade that now we are slowly minimizing the number of cells that are left without pairs so hopefully we get a digit soon and this cell 5 or 7 whatever comes in row 1 column 3 will be in uh, row 3 column 5 so we can shade these two cells as well because they will be satisfied using the queen property and this is a 6 or 7 right uh, row 1 column 6 is 6 or 7 if it is 6 it is satisfied by a knight's move and if it is 7 it is again satisfied by knight's move so we can again shade this cell as well look at this 6 it can still be satisfied by either of these two cells not giving us much information but only thing we can gather using classic rule is that 6 will be in one of these two cells if a 6 is here then it gives us a 6 here yeah okay so if you look at this 6 uh, row 6 column 9 if you have a 6 in row 6 column 9 you cannot satisfy it by using queen's property you cannot satisfy it by using any knight's property as well you get a 6 here and this uh, cell can never be satisfied so this can't be a 6 we get a 6 here wow very narrow deduction but fun to solve so because of this 6 we get a 6 here using classic rule so this will be a 7 8 now so we have a triplet 5 7 8 so this will be a 9 and that gives a 9 here so this will be 7 and 8 now we are going somewhere so this will be 7 8 and these cells will be 1 7 and 8 let's highlight some more cells these nines are satisfied and this 6 is satisfied by this 6 this 6 will be satisfied by using this 6 again so we can shade that okay so if you look at row 1 column 5 it cannot be a 7 right because it cannot be satisfied by using a knight's property if it were a 7 and again it does not have a 7 in that diagonal so this cannot be a 7 so this will be a 5 or a 6 a very narrow elimination again so we have an 8 here so we can eliminate the 8 from here so this is a 1 or a 7 and because of this 5 7 here 8 will be in one of these two cells and this will be a 5 or a 7 
no we are very close we need only one more digit this 7 can be satisfied by a 7 here or here which is not giving us much information and the 8 here cannot be satisfied by using a knight's rule so it can it needs to have an 8 here or here wow wow just wow look at this deduction guys so if you have an 8 in row 2 column 5 it cannot have a an 8 at any of the knight's position right so it needs to be satisfied by the queen's rule so which means we can have either an 8 here or an 8 here right what does this do to this cell if you have an 8 in this cell the 8 gets eliminated from both these cells and we cannot satisfy this 8 so which means we need to have an 8 in this cell that is a really narrow deduction sorry this cannot be an 8 actually so this will be a 7 because if it's 8 then 8 gets eliminated from both these cells and because of this 7 we get an 8 here that gives 5 7 here and 8 here a 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 7 here wow this has started a sequence of digits just this, that one tough deduction that gives a 5 here a 5 here an 8 here because of this 7 we get a 5 here that gives a 6 and 7 wow the sudoku is almost completed now that gives a 6 and 1 here and a 1 7 here and the only possible digit is 8 and that completes this absolutely beautiful sudoku this one deduction this single deduction just completed the sudoku at the end and it was very fun to solve uh, this kind of variant I think has more uh, potential and uh, if you focus on the corner digits at the start we will get a lot of information. So hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you have been enjoying our videos please remember to like, comment and share under the videos and do remember to subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you all soon.